Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making pressure cooker traditional goulash. Okay, I'm starting out here in my six quart electric pressure cooker that I have preheated. And I'm going to add in a little bit of olive oil. Probably about three or four tablespoons. I have a little over a pound of stew beef here that I dried on some paper towel. Now if you want to see, you can coat this in flour, but I'm not going to today. I'm just going to fry it like this. I'm going to get in here and brown it up. And I'm going to season it with salt and pepper as it browns in the pressure cooker. Okay, now that my beef is brown, I'm going to pull this out and set it aside just for now. Okay, now I have one medium onion and three cloves of garlic that I diced up. I'm going to get them in here, saute them in the pressure cooker for a few minutes until they're uh, starting to turn tender and translucent. All right, now that my onions and garlic sauteed for just a few minutes, I'm going to add in two 14 and a half ounce cans of diced tomatoes, juice and all. Get them down in there. Add in a cup of water. Okay, now I'm going to add in a tablespoon of paprika. And I'm just eyeballing this as usual, guys. I'm going to add in a teaspoon of thyme. These are used to ground or these are thyme leaves. And I'm going to add in a teaspoon of parsley. And I just have this parsley grinder on hand, and that's all I have. about right. I'm going to throw in a couple of bay leaves. Give that a quick stir. Add my beef back in. And when this is done cooking, I'll adjust it for more salt and pepper if it needs it. Okay, let me get my lid on here. Make sure we're set on airtight. Okay, I'm going to set this to pressure cook for 15 minutes. After it comes up to pressure, the pressure cooks, and allow it to do a natural release, and then we'll open it up. Okay, this is done cooking. I allowed it through that natural release. Now I have an 8 ounce container of sour cream. I pulled them bay leaves out of there. I'm going to go ahead and get this down in there. Leave that a stir. I'm going to turn my heat back on just to warm this through because that sour cream is going to cool it down because that just came out of the refrigerator. So I'll let this cook for a minute so it warms through. Okay, now that this is heated through, I have a 12 ounce pack of white egg noodles that I boiled. You could serve this over top of them. I'm just going to dump them right down in. This is sturdy and mixed together. Okay guys, this is ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. Okay, I'm going to finish this off by topping with some uh, grated Parmesan cheese. Okay, there you have it. Pressure cooker, traditional goulash. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you.